All right, time for game four. Let's battle. Okay, this is a clear redraw with one power. And that's an okay redraw, but yeah. A bit reactive. Let's hope we are up against something where this is a good play, turn four, and then we should be pretty good. Or just find something strong for it. There's something to interact. Since we have enough power, I might as well take the Kalis, even though it doesn't do that much here either right now. All right. That leaves us in roughly the same spot as before, and we are up against horror control again. Seems so. Not the best hand here. Okay, it's temporal control. And doing as little as we do is not a good thing in this matchup. And we keep dirtling. But at least we can safely favor here to keep hitting our power drops. All right, finally got something. And I'm not gonna Kylis here simply because this junction and stuff makes Kylis a pretty big risk in the trap. But I might devour end of turn. Oh no. And once again we drew the second callus. Not very likely to draw two out of two so often, but we manage to do it every time. It's kind of bad for us. Don't really want this, so we'll just Drop this and pass. I think it's better to play into a potential additional lightning storm than Kalis here and just have the Kalis killed immediately. That's a pretty good draw here, actually. I mean, we could callous, but just getting six in and then losing it's pretty bad, and drawing two cards here is a really big deal. Also hit a power. There we go. And pass. This gets us back into the game, step by step. And he will have to deal with this if he doesn't. I'm gonna draw some more cards, but yeah, he will. Yep, there's the Hashro. That is pretty decent. Still no callus, because especially if he runs wanted poster, he's probably on like four disjunction.
that is annoying and also unfortunately makes it a lot harder to kill the weapon although we can attack plus callus so it's not that bad okay so just attack then do this so we can play the scrap tank after <coughs> hit this and pass that means he can't like kill Kalis and uh, the board at the same time, like with a relic weapon. He needs like destruction plus a board sweeper for this or something. Problem is all our anti-unit stuff is really really bad. Like, There's the distortion. All right. Let's play this first two cards and make the scrap tank pretty damn big. Like if he doesn't have a channel or anything to reload heavily, we're actually in a pretty solid spot here. And there's the channel. Well, at least. We got some damage in and still have a callus going. But yeah, him drawing three cards here and killing our biggest threat definitely hurts a lot. Is it just pretty annoying? But he seems to not have that much going on. Okay, let's do this, draw some more cards. before we start attacking with anything. He is thinking what, uh, which of the like million cards he can play, he should play. Don't think scrapper is actually what we want here. We'll bottom it. Let's see if this is getting eaten by choice. Nope, just a fast harsh roll. But maybe he isn't on for disjunction if this callus is getting so much damage in. But yeah, we have so many blanks. Yeah, he's getting back the sword. <coughs> Which is pretty bad for us. But we could draw like a gear cruncher into a callus and just kill him or almost kill him. Okay. This not good enough, we need a gear cruncher basically. Alright, just checked how many units we have. Yeah, it's basically gear cruncher now or bust. And even then he might just have another disjunction and the game is over. Alright, this is not helping. 
I mean, against these super grindy control decks, this is not the uh, best game, because the thing is, this deck grinds really well and pressures like the medium, like dedicated control decks. Because they don't, they can't, usually you can't afford to run like as much late game as these temple decks run, which is why they don't work in the real world and lose too much to mid range and aggro decks because they just get run over. But if you uh, face a deck like Grenadines, which basically is not trying to pressure you to race you but to grind you, then the super uber late game of these builds just grinds you out with a million channels. And, sword and stuff, all this clunky top end that uh, normally is like making your deck way too slow. Alright, not doing so well right now, but happens. Um, kind of a trend in my video series lately, uh, just not running so well. But Eternal is a swingy game, so stay tuned for game 5 coming up next.